All right, time to go full geek here. Um, I'm gonna answer a question that's been asked to me many times, and it's something that I don't think enough people really understand. So, here we go. I have a gun, this is my 25 caliber impact behind me, and what I'm gonna do is show you how I tune it. Now the gun's already tuned, I'm quite happy with it, but I can show you how it would be out of tune fairly easy. So it was shooting at 800 feet per second with 34 grain uh, JSBs, I want to shoot it at 900 feet per second. So I start inching up that uh, regulator. Um, I think I got it about 120, 125 on this gun. And as I start to inch it up, I always keep the hammer on max. Now, when you do that, keeping the hammer on max, the hammer is inevitably going to be overpowering the valve. That's what we want in the beginning because we want to know the max speed that the regulator pressure can give us. And by smacking that valve hard, we're gonna find out what it is. Um, that said, that isn't where we wanna stay, and I'll show you why in just a second. So let's, uh, let's load it up here. I'll show you uh, the settings on this. I'll show you what we got. And what we have is, I'm on max power, and my reg is sitting at, oh, I got that. That's in the way. There you go. Now oh, you can't see it. But you'll have to just take my word for it. We're at 125 bar. Too many gizmos, too much fun. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is turn this on. That is on, okay, great. So you can see my speed right there in my camera. And with a 125 regulator and on max power, max hammer, what we have here about 915, 920 feet per second. That is where you want to be for a proper tune. You want to be a little bit higher than the speed you actually want. So I stop with my regulator adjustment. I keep it right there. I do not raise it any higher. And now it's time to get the hammer to balance with the valve. See, what we have is 125 bar of pressure on the back side of that valve, regulated by the regulator. And now we gotta get it so when the hammer hits that, it's all nice and fluid and perfect. We're not smashing it too hard, and we're not tapping it so that we don't get the full airflow out of it. We want this. Perfect airflow each time. And if you listen to this bad boy on max, I'm putting these on because we're inside and it hurts. Here's max. Okay, now here is the gun in harmony. Listen to this for a difference. Can you hear that? And we're only We're only 15 feet per second slower. That's all it is, but the airflow, the harmonics of the gun are so much better. You'll be wasting so much less air and getting so much better accuracy out of it. What you don't want is obviously to waste your air. It costs money and time to fill these things, and if you're pumping, <laughs> you really don't want to waste air. Uh, so that's the first thing, but the bigger thing is for accuracy. And if you throw more air behind it, um, then, it can then is the proper balancing act, so to speak. You want to get just enough air to get that thing out of the barrel as fluidly as possible without a lot of washing air behind it. So I'll give you a, a sound test. Whoops. Almost <laughs> lost their camera. I'll give you guys a sound test really quick here, back and forth between the two. And you can hear that difference. And this is kind of irritating to me when some PCP makers make it so you can't adjust the hammer spring and you can't adjust the regulator. You have to take with what they've given you or swap out springs or something else complicated. So all PCPs should have at least a hammer that can be adjusted. Um, and hopefully they have a regulator that can be, and hopefully they have a regulator that can also be adjusted as well as some other, um, you know, fine tuning things. But hammer, absolutely. Regulator, hopefully and other things bonus. So let's have that listen, huh? Max power. 
All right, now my setting. And here, I'll make it go back and forth right now. <laughs> How is that? Can you hear that? I hope that camera, uh, that microphone on top of that camera can pick up the sound difference because that is what I'm talking about when I'm tuning for harmony. Um, adjust your hammer spring, play with it, and basically keep lowering it for whatever rag pressure you have, keep lowering it until it just starts to drop off. That is your sweet spot. That's where your best accuracy is. That's where your best air efficiency is. I hope this helped you, and I hope it answered that question that looms on social media very frequently. People asking me how I do it. Well, this is how. This is what I do with every single PCP that I have.